The Sportsman's Table, brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. My guest today is Executive Chef Curry Martin with Aspen Grill down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He's got a great recipe for us today. Okay, fresh on the menu. Curry, thanks so much for being the guest chef Absolutely. today. Absolutely, thanks Tell for us about these great ingredients, okay? I know it's by South Carolina first, we've, okay? And there we go. We've got a lot of great uh, South Carolina ingredients here. We've got uh, Carolina white rice grown in the PD, Carolina cow peas from the PD, some oh, nice wow. corn. And we're doing some uh, local trigger fish today as well. That's awesome. I can't wait to get started. Okay, Curry, what's our next step? All right, Bob, we're going to season the fish. All right. With just a little bit of kosher salt. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Mm. We like to put a little bit of um, parsley and thyme on there as well. Now, this is also a menu item down at Aspen Grill. Yes, absolutely. Okay. This is our um, market fish dish that we're doing right now. Oh, awesome. We always use a fresh local fish. And so right now we're getting some really nice trigger fish. We're going to pop this into a hot pan with a little bit of olive oil. Now, how long is that going to cook? I know I've learned from you all, do not overcook the fish. Um, yeah, we're going to cook it for about three minutes on each side. This is, uh, you know, for something like a grouper or a bigger snapper, you'd want to cook it a little bit longer. But right. trigger fish or flounder, just a, a two, three minutes on each side. It should be good to go. Okay. Okay, so Bob, we're going to flip this over now. We've got a nice sear on this front side. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, yeah, smells great too. Mm. Yeah, it should be really nice. We're gonna let it cook for about three more minutes there. And while we're doing that, we're gonna start our corn and pea succotash over here. Okay, awesome. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. Ah, there we go. Grease it up a little bit. That's right, that's right. We're gonna um, put a little bit of off the cob corn here. And Some folks, if you'd like to express, nah, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. We're going to put in some of our uh, plantation cow peas here. Okay. Again, they're grown in the PD region of South Carolina. A little bit of diced red onion. A little bit of roasted red pepper. Ah, adds the color. That's right. Yeah. I'm just going to let that cook a little bit together. And once it starts to uh, cook a little bit, we're going to add some white wine. Mmm, awesome. And a little bit of chicken broth. Oh, yeah. Okay. All about the flavor. All about the flavor. I think somebody said it's all about the base, all not the, the treble, right? That's right. There you or, go. And the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we like to put in a little bit of mixed herbs at the end and, of course, some salt and pepper to season it up. Great. And you just want to bring this to a, a boil and let it reduce down for um, a couple of minutes. Well, folks, if you'd like to come on down to Myrtle Beach and experience great food like this at Aspen Grill, log onto their website at aspen-grill.com and you can make a reservation and this is going to be awesome. Okay, well, we have our uh, local trigger fish on top of Carolina white rice and corn and cow pea succotash. Wow. And we like to finish this off with a little bit of lime tarragon creme fraiche. Mmm, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Aspengrill.com. Curry, thank you so much. Thank we you, appreciate Bob. it. Listen, it's a great location. Folks, come on down to Myrtle Beach. Come to Aspen Grill. Again, log on to their website, aspen-grill.com. And remember, if you'd like to experience more of the great recipes you see today and what's fresh on the menu, log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see for yourself. And remember, by South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com.